Big league hitters start in a variety of different stances. These different types of stances we call styles. Whether you're narrow to start with, like Ichiro Suzuki, a neutral stance, which 85% of big league hitters are in, with the feet slightly outside the shoulders, or extremely wide, almost in a post-stride position, similar to Albert Pujols. Another 10% of big league hitters are like this. Regardless of any of those stances, that is a particular style that the player wants to use. And we want to embrace using styles with different kids of different sizes and ability levels. We don't teach or clone our hitters one particular style to use. But within that, we do have a series of absolutes that all big league hitters do that are in common. And it starts with this. The swing works from the ground up. So when we start talking about the stance, I'll begin with the feet. The number one absolute is that my back foot must be pointed straight ahead. Physiologically, this closes my hips. And we know the power portion of the swing is going to happen through rotation. So when my back hip is closed, the back foot is straight ahead, it puts the weight on the inside part of the foot and allows during rotation for me to get entire rotation with the hips. Next, when the feet are straight ahead, it puts the weight on the inside balls of my feet. I want to imagine I draw a line right through my middle toe, through the middle of my shoelaces, and up the tongue of my shoe. The weight will be positioned on the inside part of my feet. And the reason is the swing begins with the inside ball of the back foot advancing the body forward in the stride. When my feet are straight ahead, it will put my knees flexed and inside my ankles. I want to carry tension in the lower body because this is stored energy, energy that will eventually be released into the baseball. So when my knees are flexed inside my ankles, I have pressure on the inside part of my legs because, again, the swing begins with the inside part of my back foot and leg and I have tension in the legs that will store energy eventually to be released. Next, if you look at me from this way, I have a tall athletic posture. The body rotates fastest when it stays tallest. Therefore, I want to be in posture slightly chin over toes, but not with excessive bend. The more that I bend over, the more shoulder tilt I create in the swing. When it's not pitch appropriate, that excessive tilt will slow down rotation. Last, my two eyes are going to be level and on the pitcher. My eyes see best when level in this position and allows me to pick up the baseball with both eyes. That's why you see oftentimes big league hitters start in open stances a lot today just to make it easier to pick up the pitcher with his two eyes. The bat I have in my hand is a weapon. Most specifically, it's used like a whip. It's heavier on one end for a reason, and the bat can do some of the work for me if I hold it correctly. I want to hold the bat in my fingertips, not jam back in my palms, which will allow wrist action throughout the swing. When my wrist unhinges as the barrel is released, that propels the barrel forward faster. But I have to hold the bat correctly for that to happen. So my middle knuckles will be somewhat lined up, not exactly, where the middle knocking knuckles of my top hand will be somewhere between the middle knocking knuckles and the fat punching knuckles of my bottom hand. And that will allow the bat for its best action through the zone. An incorrect grip, you'll often see that the fat punching knuckles are lined up with each other, and that locks the wrists. For more tips, classes, clinics, private lessons, or even live lessons on Skype with your computer, visit us at EliteBaseballTraining.com.